A three-man junta has been named to rule the Dominican Republic as a rebel movement collapses. It was an attempt to reinstate exile president Juan Bosch, and U.S. Marines were ordered into the country to protect American lives. The Leathernecks were airlifted to the capital of Santo Domingo, where they killed two snipers who attacked the U.S. Embassy. President Johnson ordered the troop movement when it appeared doubtful that a stable government could be established immediately. The rebels claimed rule of the country, but their regime collapsed when neutral naval and army units joined government forces led by General Vesson y Vesson. He was the leader of the rebellion in 1963 that ousted President Bosch on charges that he was pro-Castro. Meanwhile, the U.S. Marines have also taken center stage in South Vietnam. No longer a defensive force at the Da Nang Air Base, they have been ordered to fan out on a wide perimeter to flush out rebel Viet Cong positions. On land and afloat, they patrol around the clock, and for the time being at least, these forays seem to have put an end to communist night raids on the strategic air base. The Marine forces are mobile and can be moved quickly to any point that calls for emergency action. An alarm to strengthen a remote outpost brings Marines on the double. They are ready with speed and dispatch. In Santo Domingo and in Da Nang, the Marines uphold their great tradition. <laughs> 